yeah. Here we go, guys. Now we're getting somewhere. What's going on, YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you the easy way to make dough bait. Now this dough bait can catch buffalo, carp, and catfish as well. Here are the things that you need to make this dough bait. Of course, you're gonna need some water. We got yellow cornmeal, white flour, and this right here is the kicker, cottonseed meal. Go ahead and show them that bag right there. Cottonseed meal. This is actually garden fertilizer. You can get this at any feed store, okay? I actually got a 50 pound bag for about $14. Now they do sell smaller bags, but it's just a way better deal to go ahead and get that 50 pound bag. Now that bag is gonna last me for years, okay? So I won't have to invest in any more cottonseed milk in a while, all right? And of course you're gonna need your bucket or something to mix the dough bait in. We also have the garlic powder right here. Now, I'm basically gonna be showing you two different versions of the dough bait. And one version of the dough bait consists of these three ingredients, the cornmeal, flour, and cottonseed meal. And then the other variation is just adding garlic powder. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. I was gonna show y'all measuring cups and how much to put in, but honestly, who brings a measuring cup with them to the lake or to their favorite fishing spot? Nobody. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. We're gonna start off with the flour, okay? You're gonna pour you some flour in the bucket. Now, the next thing you're gonna add is the cornmeal. Guys, you're gonna want about half as much cornmeal as you put flour. Now, you're gonna have to eyeball this, okay? Put in it the cornmeal. I basically just cover up all the flour with one layer of cornmeal and that, that basically works most of the time, guys. Now, you're going to add your cotton seed meal. Now, you want about as half as much cotton seed meal as you put cornmeal, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to layer that bottom. First thing I do is, I get my hand and I just go ahead and get, I get everything mixed up really well, okay? Get everything mixed up really nice. All right, now, the next thing is we're gonna add water. Okay, now of course, most people are, are fishing, making this, so just get water from your lake or your creek, whatever it may be. Start off with a little bit, and then you're just gonna start mixing this just like some dough. Okay. Now, it's already getting somewhat consistent. Y'all see how it's starting to clump up just like, you know, dough would? Well, you're gonna keep adding water until you can get all of this dough to clump up together. Now, I'm not saying that you're not gonna have to maybe add something a little later or anything like that. Now, some people say the more cottonseed meal, the better, however, I wouldn't go with that necessarily, okay? But you're going to keep massaging this dough and you're gonna to try to get all of that in there. You're gonna to try to get as much as you can with it. Just, you just work it, all right? Now, normally this would take me about five minutes to make, guys. About five minutes. Now let's reach in here, let's pull it out. And there you have it guys, homemade dough bait the easy way, okay? I don't know why some people try to add Kool-Aid powder and all this other things, Wheaties, Frosted Flakes. I'm not gonna say I haven't tried those before, but this is the easiest way that I have found out and it's guaranteed to catch fish, guys. When you're done with this dough bait, you don't want it to be rock hard, but you also don't want it to be wet. You want it to have a nice consistency to it. Y'all see how that breaks just like that? You want it to have good consistency all the way through. You don't want clumps of cottonseed meal or clumps of flour in there. Also guys, if you haven't seen my buffalo fishing video, 
It's on the channel. I would definitely recommend checking it out. This doe bait right here is used in that video, okay? Me and my dad, we caught buffalo, carp, and catfish as well. Once you get your doe in a nice big round ball like this, you're going to make you just a little dough ball off this big one, okay? Just like so. This is a number four treble hook, okay? This is what I use for my buffalo and carp. You're gonna want to just cover up that hook. Now, you may have to take a little off the end. You're going to want to cover that hook. You don't wanna put too much, guys. And there you have it right there. Homemade dough bait, cheap and easy, guys. I'm gonna show y'all how I add my garlic. So if you're trying to target catfish, and I can, I can guarantee you this recipe catches catfish, guys. What I do is I spread my dough out, like so. I get the garlic powder, and I spread it on there, just like this right here. And once you have the garlic powder seasoned, Go ahead and push it in there, okay? Now, you're gonna do the same thing. I flip it flip it over and get that garlic powder, season it again, and then you're just gonna put it, put it in a ball. So you have, you have that garlic powder consistent throughout the dough bake. You don't want some with more, some with less, okay? Remember, you're only going to do this if you are trying to target catfish. I appreciate you for sticking around and watching the video today on how to make homemade dough bait the easy way, okay? Guys, if you're subscribed to me, I thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as content hits the channel. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.